Tom is the winner of the curve bar. So the one you give them, there's a detour. There's a detour. You can get off the broad road. You can get off the broad road. That's the truth. If I'm, if I'm a Canadian citizen, I yeah. no knowledge on God, why should I go to hell? Well, you have knowledge of what's right. You know, you know, sin is not making a mistake. Yeah. When you make a mistake, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, sin is knowing what is right. Now, at one time when you first turned on that internet porno, you knew that was not right. Why is that something not right? within your conscience, Why is that not right? something within your conscience, okay? Because 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 you're doing it in the dark. Because you've got some shame with your porno watching. You're doing it in the secret, right? Yeah, you're doing public. You're, yeah, you're gonna do it in public. You won't even do it in public. That's right. So when you're on the subway, you're not gonna do what you do in cl behind closed doors. You're gonna do it in public. Okay. Well, that just shows you how debased your mind is and your heart. Your mind is debased. Okay. Because your see, what is what sin does? I don't know what you do. He just confessed to porno watching. I don't know what, you, what you're willing to confess to. Maybe it's weed smoking. Maybe it's listening to gangster rap. No, 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 weed's a big religion in a city. No, whether you're black or white. You want pornography? I was a sinner. I was a lust-filled man at one time. But God took me out of my sin when I was willing to give it up. The ball is in your court with giving up sin. You don't have, you don't need to be religious. You need to be righteous. You need to be holy. Do you agree with the laws of Canada? Sure, sure. So you agree that they're right? So let's say I do something wrong about mistake, right? Because I don't Well, let's give that, let's put that under the test, okay? okay. So, let's say one night, you know, um, I go into a convenience store, and I know I can rob the place. Easily get, get easily get four or five hundred bucks. Easily, okay? Take out my gun, and uh, I don't realize, I don't realize the guy, hold on, hold on. We're going to put your example to the test. Your example, not mine. You brought an example. Okay. But we're talking about breaking the law. Okay? You're talking about breaking God's law and then doing some good to make up for it. I'm going to show you how that doesn't work with God by giving a natural example. Okay? So I don't realize his son is coming out from the back. He tackles me right to the ground, man, and I'm going nowhere. Cops show up. Cops showed up. I've already done this twice. I've already done this twice. And I was desperate. I had to get some money for crack. Okay? And now I'm going to jail. But I've got my mother coming in. She's crying. I've got my friends coming in. Because, you know, I was an all-star basketball player in high school. And, and, I, and I went on a, on, a, on, a, on a trip to build some homes in, in this part of the world. So I, I, I want them to know I'm not really bad. But the bottom line is you broke the law. You, you knew what was right, and in the face of what was right, you did what was wrong. And that took a will. You had to willingly do that. Nobody forced you to do that. And you had knowledge of what's right. So can that judge let you go, even though you've done all these nice things? Okay, okay, okay. God, 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 is God works in the same way. Even much greater. That's why we have these things. That's why we have law, we have justice, we have accountability. Because we are God's creation, okay? Where is God in terms of how you can see him with your physical eye? You can't see him, but he's already given you evidence by what he's created. The Bible says the invisible God can clearly be seen by the visible things he has created. And nature has been speaking to you. The stars have been speaking to you. Your conscience has been speaking to you. And the word of God has been speaking to you. But you guys have been putting the snooze button on your conscience. You've been putting the snooze button on the word of God. And now... Now, now, now we got a serious situation with you, young man. Now you're agreeing with your sin, and you're calling your sin normal. Okay? We now know how far down the road you are. Okay? Now, he knows. Hold on. I'm judging your fruit. You came out here and you agreed that there's nothing wrong with porno watching. Okay. So, so, we all know that porno is the biggest addiction that we've got in the country. Okay? Now, porno watching... 40 years ago was not the same porn that we've got today. And so, well, it doesn't matter because it shows you what sin does. It gets worse and worse and worse and worse. That's the character of sin. All you've got to do is look at the fruit of something. Jesus says a good fruit, a good tree. Okay. Well, but, by the way, you know, I don't even have to prove to you that it's dishonorable to a woman. Okay. And, and, and of course, and of course, and of course, I want to ask you a question. If you ever get married and you ever have a daughter, a sweet little girl, 
Would you love her to be a porno star? I would still love her even if she was... I'm not asking whether you would love her or not. What? I'm saying would you be happy? Just as happy as you are to turn it on. Just, hold on, hold on. Hold on. It is her to say, I'm not asking you that. Okay, so your sin, your sin at the end of the day is what you're responsible for. Who are you to label sin? Who are we? God, God is labeled sin. God is labeled sin. Okay? Okay, so when we have a bottle of poison, when we have, when we have a bottle of poison, you want to know? You guys want an answer? I'll give you an answer. Listen, young man, listen to me for a second. We're not trying to argue with you here. Hey, what's up? Okay. Now, when you got a bottle of poison, absolutely 100%. Do you appreciate when I label it? Hey, what's up, man? We want a little bit of personal space here. Thank you very much. Can you give me personal space here? We got a camera right here. You don't want to come too close, okay? You're a native, eh? No, I'm not native. Oh, you think you're not? No. You Can you give me my personal God, space, eh? sir? I, I didn't ask you to come this close. Thank you very much. No, no we don't think we're God. God. No, we're sinners saved by grace. If you have, you have a bottle of poison. Do you, would you appreciate? Would you appreciate if I labeled that poison, or would you appreciate if I put milk on it, or if I? Would you appreciate if I put poison on it, or would you appreciate if I put whiskey instead of 100% poison? Okay. So God is going to label your sin with what it is. He's going to call your getting ha getting sex outside of marriage fornication. And he's going to tell you on, on a certain condition. On a certain condition. Where do you put Where that? Where do you put that? Where do you put that? You got nothing to lose. That's why you're doing this, right? You, you know, you got nothing to lose? What do you mean? You're breaking the law, you don't care? What do you mean on a certain condition? All you guys. All you got is anger. That's all you got. The Pope yeah. said, I'm all not a Catholic. Suicide. And again, and again, and again. And again. How sorry are you? You're not really that sorry. No. Okay. So, hold on. Hold on. No. No? Because what God is looking for is one thing. He wants you to prove how sorry you are by your willingness to give up your sin. So that ball is in your court. So now, you God down. sees that in you. God sees that you have, young men, the ability to give up sin. You can actually give it up. Say, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm willing to... To, I'm willing to sign the divorce papers on this sin. And when you do that, and you not only do that, but you turn to Christ, because He's a Savior, and He'll come in to save you, and totally remove you from the power of that sin, because that sin, the Bible says, is knocking on your door. I, or it's already got you, one or the other. Yeah, sure you can. So let's say I sin every week. I keep sinning, 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 sinning. But at the end of my life, I want to, I want to, I want uh, forgiveness. So at the end of my life, can I, can I forgive? Can I be forgiven? Well. A, 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 of course, of course you could, but let me be honest with you here. You would, it would have to be a sincere repenting. Yeah, but it may not be sincere. Hold on, I'm gonna warn you now. I'm gonna warn you because if you're insincere all your life, you're gonna, you're gonna tell me that at one point in your life, you give it up at the end. You give up. But you know, you know, can I be honest with you? I've seen enough people get right with God, and they don't move from constantly being insincere, sincere to a last moment sincerity. Most often. They move from insincerity to more and more sincerity, and they finally make that decision. So, you, if you're on your deathbed and you want to cry to God, number one, you know what you're saying? You're saying, I know I should do it, but I don't want to do it because I want to keep sinning. Because you think your sin is more profitable. You're, you, you know the weed stash can work, so you're going to trust the weed stash, not Jesus Christ. So you know you should be doing it, but I want to keep sinning. Where in the Bible does it say you can't smoke? Well, do you, do you want me to answer that question? Okay. You want, you want me to answer weed or alcohol? Which one? Okay. Now, Jesus says you'll know a tree by its fruit. Okay? If you've got a bad tree, is it going to produce good fruit? No. It's going to produce bad fruit. Very simple, right? Okay. So when we look at all actions, we look at a, a young girl keeping herself pure. You know, guys are saying, come on, come on, come on. She's saying, no, I want to I hold on to my purity. And I want to demand of you a lifelong commitment. That's the only way I'm going to give you my purity. There's fruit to that. The Bible calls that good fruit. Or, if you want to be Freddy the Fornicator, or vice versa, if you want to be a whore, the Bible, the Bible says you're either a whore or a whoremonger if you have sex outside of marriage. Does it sound nice? That's what the Bible says. Then, the Bible says with that are bad fruit. It's, it's a bad tree. Okay? Now let's look at weed. Is it is it good fruit or is it bad fruit? Who are you to okay? judge that? God has already judged it. I'm only he telling you. Okay. Now did he, did he write it? How did he judge oh, it? It's it's right 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 okay, in Revelation. You're gonna smoke marijuana. The time is almost gonna be over. 
and sin is going to reach its limit. Sin is going to reach it. Well, What's this? I heard Jesus was coming. And the Bible says that. The Bible talks about that. The Bible says. The Bible says they've been saying that. The Bible says the mockers and scoffers say. Well, they've been saying that.